Okay, so now let's uh, validate our email. I think you have a, um, an idea what I'm going to be doing. And I think you have the helper right here so you can do it yourself. So I would encourage you to pause the video again and to try it on your own. I'll just uh, hurry right into it. So, okay. So I'm just, I'm actually going to copy this. Like I'm going to copy the whole ref and I'm going to just pass it right here. And I'm going to say email, maybe email address. And the valid email address, I'm gonna just copy this. Uh, I hate typing words a lot. Okay, now I, I'm i going to be copying this. Again, this is a regex pattern. It's for emails, you can Google it online. It's, uh, there's there's a regex website, official regex documentation. So, like they, they cover all of this. So I'm not going to go through this. This is not meant for that. So I'm going to save and now hopefully as uh, fingers crossed it's going to show me what I want okay reload the page again just for certainty and now I'm going to be saying like this and okay I don't know why it's not showing the error in the first time like this should be showing okay let's let's try again so I want 25 oh no I'm not that old <laughs> oh my God. okay alright um, I, I don't know whose number that is over it is kudos Okay. Okay, it's not showing. I don't really know why. Like, uh, if it shows, it's just going to be like this. Okay. And okay, and there you go. As you can see now, if I delete this, uh, yeah, it wants valid. This is not a valid email to it. Now that org, it's a valid. The dev, it's a valid. The e e e, it's a valid. I guess you get the the. Uh, the gist outfit, oh, oh, oh. but uh, okay. If I take it away, it's required now. I'm going to, um, I guess, uh, the passwords and confirm passwords are interesting too because in these two, you you have to make them uh, equal. Like you have to tell the users they are not equal. So you have to be comparing one to another and tell the user, hey, these are not equal to one another. Um, uh, Please enter equal piece for whatever the error message is. So we are going to go through this now next. So let's get to it. So let's get to the confirmation of the passwords. First of all, we have to validate the password. So uh, right here again, I'm going to be doing the same stuff. So maybe a require. Yeah, um, nothing complex, just password is required. And you know, and the min length. Now we are not going to be using min again. We are going to use min length to make sure this password is not shorter or longer than anything. So I'm going to be like value is going to be uh, maybe six because password shouldn't be not eight maybe. And message. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to use double quotations just because I'm going to be using single quotation uh, inside my text. Passwords shouldn't be shorter. Then eight characters. That's it. Okay. Uh, now the tricky part is the confirm password. But first of all, uh, let's just add the same stuff right here. Uh, so I'm going to replace this, and instead I'm going to be like confirm password. And uh, no, it's just right here and right there. It's the same. So yeah. This is just the basic, this is not going to be sure they are equal. So I'm uh, just because I'm going to make it a text, like type, I'm gonna make it a text just for you to be able to see it right now. You can always have to your uh, UI include an icon or a button that changes the type from password to text. We can do that actually. Uh, it's not gonna be that long. I'm gonna make something as simple as Google. Now, if uh, let, let's go through what I did to uh, in a fast manner. I'm gonna just uh, tap this a little bit. Okay, so here is the password. Here is the confirmed password. Now I created a, a user state and I connected it to the type. There's more than different, more than way to do this, but this is the way I went with. And as you can see, uh, right here by default, it's a password. <coughs> now I created another user state, and this I created. An, uh, I, I'm controlling the checkbox right here. So show password to checkbox with this uh, user state. Uh, it's not a part of our form, and maybe maybe later I'm going to show how to uh, 
deal with checkbox and uh, radio box uh, radio buttons and stuff like this and <coughs> in our form but for now because this is not part of the data I'm going to be sent into the server not that we can't handle it if we if it wasn't our function the data objects that come from our function we will see that in in next chapters of this tutorial so uh, back to business uh, and staying on topic um, I don't need this anymore yeah okay so let's take this let's make it a little bit uh, you know a clean look good a little bit more readable and like this and we don't need the event as well so it's an empty function that's running the other function just to make sure that this inline function runs now uh, we change the previous value of the show pass to the opposite fit. like if it's true it's false it's false it's true so check uh, the checkbox changes from check to uncheck <coughs> and if it's a check if uh, if it's a true we, you see the message hide password as the label if it's false it's show password like this show hide and as you can see it changes from password to text now <coughs> I'm using a use effect and listening to the show password if uh, the show by default it's going to be a password and by default it's a password so nothing happens so uh, when the password uh, the show pass change from false to true or otherwise we run this function and it makes it a text or it makes the password depending on the show pass value okay so let's save let's reload the page and as you can see now I am going to be typing right here and typing right here and as you can see it's a uh, password now if I click this and as you can see it's uh, it's a miracle <laughs> I'm just kidding okay so let's see our validation yeah all is not valid wow okay great so <clears throat> let's see yeah password is required okay um yeah testing and testing one two three okay eight characters is a bit long yeah um, i guess it's a bit excessive maybe for more secure website uh, not today so value eight and right here and i'm just gonna make it five i guess five is good right don't you see now i'm gonna reload this page submit okay so password while testing yeah uh show passwords okay testing one two three now these are not valid because this password and this confirmed password are not the same but at the same time as you can see it thinks it's valid because react hook form has no idea that these two should be the same so yeah if i enter like this and one two three okay this is too old for person okay 17 and phone number okay to wait well like this like this i don't know if that's even a valid phone number oh my god no no oh, sorry uh, okay yeah okay and an email is gonna be test at test.com no dash okay oh my god okay yeah it's working anyhow now a uh, submit yeah it's submitted but if you see if we send this to the back end uh this is probably gonna cause an error or the back end is gonna send you an error and to be honest <coughs> i think uh, either way you should have your your form validation in the back end because your front end can always be manipulated but this is for the user experience uh it's better for user experience and if you have an error from the back end you should have a way of showing this to the user as well according to your use case so let's just focus right here <coughs> so now how do we do this okay let's get to it okay uh so as you can see if we click uh control and space i don't know i'm not sure if this is going to show uh, at your device but i think it should because this is uh coming from the package itself not suggestions from an extension or anything we have uh, the, mo the, the suggested register uh, properties max, max length, min, pattern, set value as, validate, values date. We used most of these, but let's get to uh, the one we're going to need is validate. So, validate is going to be taking an object, so it's going to be okay. That's going to be taking a function. So, let's see how we're going to do this. So, for example, I'm going to be like uh, check password confirmation you know I don't want to be long but I usually like to write handler at the end of my function and like this and it's gonna be taken a val the value this, this value is the value that you will be typing inside this uh, input okay and our function now 
we are going to be using something else from the React ho use hook for use form hook from React hook for is going to be called get values. Now get values gets you the values of this form, but we this is not what we want. So I'm going to be like const password. This is only the part we need. Yeah, uh, this is the structuring of the get values. Like I'm structuring. This should be. This is going to be equals data, the same data that you get from the submitting the form. Right now, I'm just going to be using it like this. Okay. Now, return uh, if password equal equal value. Like if they are equal, you're going to be. This is true and return. If it's false. Okay. Oh my God. I'm really lost with this keyboard. I need. To probably practice how to use my own keyboard okay I want to type the or I think yeah right here oh my god it's changed a lot okay so or if it's false you're going to be like passwords don't okay slash god oh my god don't match okay that's it okay save now let's run and see how it's gonna work. So reload the page. So now I'm going to just type all of this. Okay. Test, test, com, and let's show the password. Test. Um. Okay. Yeah, this is not five. So testing. And now we'll submit. Yeah, this is required now. Yeah, you see, uh, it shouldn't be shorter than eight. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's five. Yeah, I forgot to change the message. Message. I will change that later. Okay. As you can see, doesn't match because I I cross the five, so I cross the basic uh, validation of confirm password. Now it's validating again. It's the password. Now if I take this away, as you can see, this is required, but this doesn't match. Now if I say test. Uh, one, two, three. This is valid. This is still not thrown out. Test one, two, and as you can see, there's no error. Now, if I try to just add another character, you see, this is this is good. Like this is important. I think I, I like this trick. It's a slick and this is smart. Uh, it's from the documentation. Now, uh, there are a couple more things that we need to dive in, but uh, I think some of you might wonder if you already work on an existing project and would like to add, uh, you know, React Hub form for the render. And maybe you have your own validation using Yep or Joey or whatever, uh, or, or your custom validation, and you're thinking to yourself, now what? It, like, will I have to copy all this? Maybe it's big, maybe you don't want to copy it, maybe you're comfortable with your own validation. Me, for example, I like the validations that React Hook form validate like this. But some, some of us might, might just be interested in using the regular validation, you know, the validations they are using, but getting the same result, the same false result. Good news is, it's possible. If you go to the documentation, you will probably find it. Um, let me see. Yeah, right here. Yup, Zod, Joy, Subtract, Vest, Custom. And in the next uh, video, I'm going to be diving through one or two of these. And you can check the documentation for the rest of them. There is JavaScript and TypeScript support. Uh, so you can check the code as much as you want. I probably will be working with JavaScript most of this tutorial. But I would urge you to try and use types get more strong type. So I guess till next lecture and uh, see you soon.